So this is the phase one of the works. Okay, this is of the E block. So there are about five pipes in these e, these E blocks, and these pipes are going at the basement level. Most of the pipes are marked like this. Wherever you see a yellow band or sticker. So from the basement, the the pipes are routed like this. So it's all around on the garden like this, and the water comes into this first line separator, and the water which overflows from the first line separator goes into this filter. Okay, you can see this is the filter. This filter has to be cleaned once in a way, preferably after every three months. Okay, so the water which gets filtered through this goes from these pipes. Okay. and this pipe is again meant to go underground all the way till the sump and now the water which gets filtered gets into your sump and this is the main sump and the water from here gets pumped into the overhead tank thank you so now we come to the phase 2 of the work this is for the blocks a d and e here all, all the rainwater pipes are connected at the basement level the pipes you see here are the rainwater pipes so they are held here by by method of an anchor bolt and a hanging rod and all the pipes is laid inside in the in the basement so the whole of this is coming here and now you see an exit so this pipe is going all the way till the you know now the pipes are running right into the filter if you don't want the water to go into the filter you can close this valve so you so you can close this valve and open this valve so the water will start going into the going outside right now the valves are open and the water is going into this filter okay the filtered water now goes into the now the filtered water is coming out through this pipe and it's going all the way till the sump let's walk through this till that so this where we are walking is the underground piping it goes all the way till the sump so the water finally drains into the sump and this is pumped to a water tank thank you So now we come to the phase three of the work. Phase three uh, comprises of the blocks B, C, and F. So all the rooftop water and some of the penthouse water comes through the rainwater pipes. Most of the rainwater pipes have got this yellow color band. So the yellow color band means this is the rainwater pipe. So these these are the rainwater pipes from where the water is is draining. Okay. So uh, there's there's quite a, quite a number of pipes as as we walk through we can see. So all these pipes are coming from from the rooftop, and they come through a conduit in the basement, and and then 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 it it, it goes goes underground from where from where we are walking, and then it drains into a sump. So uh, if you see, these are the rainwater pipes. Okay, these are coming from the rooftop, and then on the ceiling, and then 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 they come here. Okay, and underground it's. The, Slayer and it goes. It joins a conduit here, and all these things goes in and drains into a underground sump. So we have a series of pipes here. As you see, if you write all of these are rainwater pipes. These are all coming from the top, from the from the rooftop, and this goes into the main water sump. So now we we continue. These are these are a series of pipes now. Okay, you can see them. So. A lot of pipes like these are draining. Okay. So you see, these yellow bands means that's the rainwater pipe. So they're totally all in all 17 pipes which are draining outside like this, and each of these pipes have interlinked about two or three or sometimes even. four pipes at the basement level so all of these pipes coming from all of these bcf blocks are coming into from these pipes and it is going underground this is this is where you see an underground pipe running and it it comes and comes into this chamber 
you see two valves in this chamber it right now the chamber the, the, the valves are closed so this means the water is actually draining outside so this is the position where you have to keep it when you have to clean your roof or when you don't want the water to go into the sump when you want the water to go into the sump you have to open the valves is it is as shown now open so now the exit pipes are closed and the inlet pipes are open okay now what happens is the water will start going into this uh, filter this is a two chamber filter okay then the water gets filtered through all this this is the last chamber from here the water goes into the small sump which we have done the open water from this last chamber goes into this sump okay the the water which overflows from the sump will go all the way from here and underground there's a pipeline the, what you see now is the pipeline okay so this goes all the way and this goes underground from here the same pipes are coming here okay and this joins this circuit and from here there is an under 16 underground pipe which drains into this sump this is the sump this is finally the water comes and falls into this sump okay you think the rain water is coming through these tunnels so the water which falls on the head comes right below till your sump and this water is pumped up to your overhead tank thank you